this is part 3 of the series of ASP.NET Core MVC tutorial. So in this video let's understand what is model. So before creating a web application it's like very important to understand what is a model, what is view and controller. Once we understand about these three then we proceed with creating a new application using ASP.NET Core MVC. Okay. So ASP.NET Core uses common folders for each of the building blocks. Uh, suppose if you see the uh, project structure, it would look like this. So this is an application which is created, a solution which is an app uh, project. Okay. Inside this project, you can observe that there are three folders, controllers, models and views. So what will ASP.NET Core do is it will find the controller class, model class and the views in respective folders of these three insert the web application. So next we need to understand what is what exactly is a model. Okay, let's understand what is model and what is the purpose of model. So model is like group of classes that make up the domain data. So what is domain data? Domain data is domain, cla domain class plus interface plus concrete class. Next let's understand what is domain class. Okay. See, if you see this example, you can understand that there is a domain class created over here called as grocery. This grocery consists of grocery ID, name and price. So these three properties are defined inside a class which will make it, make it a domain class. But just this class will not make a model. So if you observe in the previous slide here we have seen that model is something which has domain class plus interface plus concrete class. This is just the domain class. Next, we also need to understand what exactly is a model. Model is like classes which are also called as POCO classes. POCO classes means plain old CLR objects which does not depend on any framework specific to base class. And model also contains classes that manage the data. Okay, so now if you understand here what is a model we have seen the domain class over here. Next we need to understand what is interface and concrete class. So before that what is the purpose of the model? Purpose of model is to hide the details about how we manage or interact with the actual data. So just this domain class will not make up the model. We also need to provide classes that will perform actual data persistence. And this can be done by creating a repository interface which has methods, operations, which we can perform using this domain class. Okay. So if you observe here, next is the interface. This interface consists of a method that is all groceries, which, which will provide the skeleton for whatever the operations we are going to perform on this domain class. Right. We are creating a repository interface over here which has methods or operations we can perform using domain class. And using this method, next what we need to do, we need to implement this method. We need to implement this method by using concrete class. That is another repository class. Okay. So if you observe over here, this is the concrete class. And if you observe closely over here, the grocery repository class implements iGrocery repository. iGrocery repository is the interface which we had seen over here, which contains all groceries method that will return i enumerable of grocery, which is a list. Okay. So what we are doing here, we have just specified the name of the method over here in iGrocery repository interface. This method should be implemented by a class. That is what we are seeing over here. That is a concrete class. This grocery repository is a concrete class which implements iGrocery repository that is the methods provided in the interface should be implemented over here. So all groceries method here we are implementing which will return a list here in i enumerable of grocery. We are creating a grocery object here by providing values for grocery id name and price which we had seen in the domain class. These properties we had specified over here, right? Grocery ID, name and price. These properties and this method using these two, we need to provide concrete class implementation over here by instantiating, that is by initializing the values for each of these properties over here. 
okay so what we have done so far using repository interface and repository class we, which we created next what we need to do we need to register a service in order to avoid the hard link between consumer class and the repository so what we need to do inside our startup class we need to register a service by passing repository interface which we had seen over here and the repository class that is the concrete implementation these two we need to pass in the service where we are going to register that service that will be inside startup.cs that class we need to register it and using that service what we can do we can now from anywhere ask for interface repository and from container we can get fully initiated repository class so so far what we have seen over here what exactly is a model model is nothing but domain class plus interface plus concrete class just this domain class will not make a model because it only has the properties over here and the method which we are specifying over here in the interface we are going to provide implementation over here by implementing that interface and using the properties we are going to initialize the values over here so all the three that is domain class plus interface plus concrete class will make us model so we have just seen the overview of model in this video in the next video what we will do we will completely implement whatever we have seen over here first we will create a domain class then we will create an interface and we will create a concrete class which will make the complete model that is domain data and using this that domain data we can proceed further with controller and view so first what we will do let's understand the complete overview of model view and controller then we'll create an application full stack application which contains implementation for asp.net core mvc thank you so much for watching this video guys and going further i'll be uploading more videos on asp.net core application with mvc so before digging deep into the application it's very much important to understand the basics that's the reason i started from scratch for this video so if you have already know the knowledge about model then you can easily skip this video and continue with the further videos which i am going to do in the future days thank you so much for watching this video guys please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos thank you